Hi, I am Madara Freivalde. I work as a chief librarian of a library development center in National Library of Latvia. In this presentation, I will talk about cooperation between public and school libraries. The last three years in public uh, and school libraries for children and young people have passed in a sign of gathering and meeting. Children and young people perceive the library not only as a place where books and other information resources can be received, but also as a place to spend free time. Libraries are regularly looking for ways to encourage children to come to the library, improving reading rooms and creating environment to make it possible for the library to list and learn, organizing creative workshops and other activities, along with teachers and other partners. Let's start with the statistics of public and school libraries in Latvia. As you can see, the numbers of libraries has declined. This reason is related to the demographic situation in the country and population migration, as well as school closures and measures. Each library in Latvia uh, has its own objectives, priorities, but when libraries are working with children and young people, they work with the following directions promoting reading among children and young people, providing information technolo technology skills, ensuring access to quality information, organization and promotion of library work, publicity, and providing meaningful leisure activities. These activities are implemented in both public and school libraries. One form of cooperation between the school and the public library is participation and reading promotion programs. Here you can see posters for two national reading programs implemented in Latvia. In next two slides, I will give you more information about them. First one is uh, Children and Young Adult Jury, is formed in 2001. Uh, this is the first reading promotion program in Latvia, which is aimed at creating the platform of strong reading culture for young generation. Central idea of the program is to increase reading skills among children and young adults, and it will raise the quality of their future lives and improve the intellect, intellectual capacity. Every member of children and young adult jury should read six books from his or her age segment in specific period of time, normally in eight or nine months. After books are read, every member of the group is called to fill the children and young adult jury form where they are asked uh, to answer the questions about the books. Reading promotion program, Children and Young Adult Jury, is run by specialists from Children Literature Center of National Library of Latvia, in collaboration with regional curators and specialists from public and school libraries. Nearly 70% of the libraries which involves in this reading program, this is not only the, this is not only reading program implemented, 12% 12 of, uh, 12 of libraries, in addition to this program, have their own reading promotion initiative. The National Reading Allowed Competition is a contest for 11, 12-year-olds of classes 5 and 6, leading to the reading champion. The competition takes place in three stages. Competition at school or local library, regional final, and the state library at the National Library of Latvia. The aim of the competition is to improve children's skills to choose appropriate and interesting literature for loud reading, promote interest in reading and books. In Latvia, the initiative is intended to reduce the self-assessment of students' very low reading skills. According to 2060 progress in uh, international reading literacy study, Latvia's, Latvian students rank themselves fourth from the end of the competition in 50 countries. The reading aloud competition is also designed to raise self-awareness as well as align reading le levels for boys and girls. These reading promotion programs provides not only increase of library clients but also increase of reading competence. Here you can see other forms of cooperation between the public and school libraries which includes working with children and young people. School librarians point out that the public library is often too far and therefore does not cooperate with it. However, the public library is nearby, it is a good thing to work together. School libraries are often small, so it is impossible to organize events with a lot of participants. 
That is why they organize events in public libraries. The students, together with the teacher and the school librarian, visit events to the public library. One of uh, the examples of this kind of cooperation is meeting writers and poets in library. School and public library write projects together to get finance support, and if a project is supported, then both libraries organize events for children and young people in library. There is an active matching of the book collection between the public and the school library. If the two libraries are close to each other, the school library contains teaching materials and books of fiction are available in public library. Mutual communication to inform debtors. The school library shall contact the public library or vice versa and shall inform if a student has not transferred the book. In cooperation be between school and public library, librarian, it is easier to inform students that a book should be passed. Participate in, participation in joint cross-border and local projects, and also libraries cooperate and present themselves uh, at city celebration as one of the staging points where to work creatively, learn about library services, and so on. In the advantage learning approach, services provided by libraries should also be changed in order to become one of the most reliable centers in which to obtain information for training. By introducing a skill approach to the te teaching context of school 2013, not only schools but also public libraries will have new challenges. School libraries and public libraries are currently slowly forming another form of cooperation in terms of providing students with high quality literature in different languages and in different ways. Today, when in every library has a huge range of printed and electronic information resources, it is necessary for the school librarian to be particularly skilled to be able to use these resources on the case by case basis both for themselves to give advice to teachers and students. Plagiarism. The school librarian and the public libra librarian should pay attention to what students do on their computers. New, co new cooperation will come at the moment when librarians discuss about when a student copying text from the internet and paste them on this report. In the new curriculum, students will have to analyze texts restate them and interrupt them with their arguments and conclusions. So they will not be able to copy the text from the internet and paste it to their files. If a student does it, the librarian should inform what kind of consequences it may have. Library professionals have discussing the loads of school librarian for years. Cooperation is often difficult because librarians of Latvian schools work in 78 types of load breakdowns from full-time employees to a load rate of 0 0.060. Only 34% of Latvian school librarians work full-time. Mostly they are librarians of urban and suburban secondary schools and gymnasiums. Meanwhile, 66% of Latvian school librarians work part-time, while 3% of the school librarians are not present at all. In school libraries with a load rate less than 0 0.25, the librarian work is mostly carried out by one of the school leaders or teachers. In public libraries, the situation is much more better, but there is still a lack of stuff uh, to offering high quality and innovative services for children and young people. Today's children are very busy in school, out of uh, school activities. So there is little time to visit and read book in libraries. Libraries need to think not only about interesting student students in reading books, but also about offering them leisure time activities, creating clubs of interest and providing them with a chance to rest after school. Not all public libraries work with school libraries and not all school libraries work with public libraries. Everyone, everything is depend on people who work in the libraries. If they are enthusiasts of their own work, the cooperation is appreciated by everyone. But if there is no cooperation, the both libraries work as independent institutions and children and young people suffer from it. Uh, some examples of good practices will be an inspiration for everyone, as well as real examples of how schools and public libraries work in Latvia. The first one is about the school library. 
in 2018, Latvia celebrated the 100 year anniversary. Patriotism has been increasingly pressing topic since this year. Libraries offer activities which involve students and to also promote patriotism. In the school library, there is an active the creativity club. In this club, students are studying oration history, the folk, music instruments, discussing current de developments in Latvia and the world, exploring local traditions and culture, learning to be patriots. The club includes students who like dancing, singing, photographing, playing music, uh, mu musical instruments, interested in history, working in junior guard. The interests uh, are all different, but they are united by Latvia. Everyone certainly knows the game Monopoly. That's why the public library decided to reshape the game uh, a little by adapting it to reading. An individual reading game for students who read independently and want to enrich their summer holiday experience by reading books and working creatively. The game is played on a square field, playing field where each row is its own color. When you start the game, the child chooses a line of colors to go through yellow, red, blue, or green. Each field of the color in question refers to a library, to a literary or creative task that needs to be accomplished. For example, reading a book on a particular subject, watching film or a cartoon that comes from the themes of the book, uh, cooperation during the COVID. Libraries challenge each other to force tasks. tasks. For example, the public library called uh, on other, uh, on other libraries to revitalize the books by interp interpreting their covers. In the end, not only public and school libraries were involved, but also people who followed these libraries on Facebook. The original books are on the right side, but the interpretations are on the left side. You can see in the pictures. And in the end of the presentation, I will uh, talk a little bit about uh, conclusions from this presentation. The forms of cooperation are different and these forms are updated by changed from the time to time. Librarians follow industry trends and try to incorporate innovative methods, new solutions and work with different partners in their daily work, expanding their visions and learning something new. Ask the young people what kind of environment they want to see in the library. Do a questionnaire or address them these questions eye to eye. Maybe they don't need much. If it is practical, do it, and you will be expected people in the eyes of the young people. Young people like visually attractive library rooms, places where they can relax and chance to talk to librarian about the books and what's going on in the world. Ask children and young people for book recommendation, which books they want to see in the library. And the last one conclusion is, if the librarian is an enthusi enthusiastic of uh, his job, he will be able to work together and seek in innovative ideas and services to offer to young people and will form a new cooperation. So thank you for uh, listening my presentation and uh, have a good day. Thank you.